Hi, my name's Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. This video is an excerpt from our upcoming course for the AWS Certified Solutions Architects Associate Certification that is made up almost entirely of hands-on labs. Over 20 hours of practical exercises to give you the knowledge and experience to pass your exam. I hope you enjoy the video and for more information about our courses, check out our social media. Hi guys, over the next few labs, we're going to create some resources using CloudFormation and then Elastic Beanstalk. So for this lab, we're gonna use CloudFormation to create some infrastructure. Now I'm in the CloudFormation management console here and we can see on the left, we've got stacks and stack sets and then we've got exports and design and we'll talk about those in a minute. But before we talk about stacks, you need to understand the concept of templates. So a template is your architectural design for the infrastructure that you want to build. You can create, update and delete resources using templates. And these are written in JSON or YAML languages. CloudFormation can determine the order of provisioning of your resources. And so you don't need to worry about dependencies. It handles that for you. And there's actually a couple of ways that we can create our template files. You can either write them manually or you can actually use a visual designer, uh, which is what we see on the left here. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. So what I want to do is just create a couple of stacks in this lab. So for starters, let's just create a stack and have a look through the options here. So if we have a template already, we can choose this option and we can find our template on S3 or we can upload one. And it's actually got a URL for one that I was looking at previously. You can alternatively go to use a sample template or create a template through the designer. What we're going to do is choose the sample template and there's a few options here. We're going to do the WordPress blog and this is the simple WordPress blog. There's also a multi AZ one which we'll do in the next lab. But I just want to choose WordPress blog and let's have a look in the designer. So in the designer, it's just sort of crept off screen there. I've just got to drag this up. But here are the resources. So very, very simple. There's an instance and there's a security group. And you know, if you had more complexity, you could take components from the left-hand side here, like you might want to take a, some auto scaling and you could, you could pull the resource in. So you can take an auto scaling group and pull it in here. And you see straight away, it starts creating the code for you. And then you would be able to link in your auto scaling group and you know configure things up and you do the same for load balancers and pretty much anything you can you can do you can see the list of services here and it's very very long so i'm just going to delete that because i don't need that resource so you can see down here we've got components and template and this is just organizing the code and you can have a look through and everything that you're going to create is defined here, including you have some options. So for instance, you can see that there's some allowed values and you'll through the wizard, you'll get the option to choose which instance size you want. And we can choose between JSON or YAML and it just changes the code for us in the editor here. So I don't need to change anything here. So I'm just going to close it down. By the way, a couple of things you can do, you can hit this link here. It actually exports a PNG so you get an image of your infrastructure. And you can also create the stack here and you can save your template out. What I wanna do is just close the editor. I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna do that again. So I'm gonna go here and choose WordPress blog, click on next. I'm gonna call this simple WP and I'm just gonna copy this value. So here are the parameters that we can define and I'm gonna put in the password and I'm just going to paste the same value in all of these and I'm going to change the instance to t2 micro and you then choose your key pair and you can modify the SSH location if you want to lock it down to certain IPs or IP ranges I'm just going to leave it open it to come from anywhere you can then choose an IAM role if you want to define the permissions through a role Otherwise, it will use your user credentials, which in my case are fine, so I'll continue. And you then get a bit of a summary. It tells you what it's going to create. You can estimate the cost. And you can see here the parameters that are going to be passed into the stack creation process. And we don't need to change anything else. So I'm just going to click Create Stack. And so we can now see that it's in progress. 
and you can see some of the definition of the stack here you can go into events and you can see what's happening and if we just click refresh we'll be able to get an updated view of what's happening you can see the resources that are being created here and if there are some outputs then you'll see the outputs and again we can look at your parameters and you can look at your template file change sets are something that we're going to cover in another lab but this is a way that you can test and visualize the changes that you're going to make to your infrastructure before you actually put the changes into effect. So we just need to wait a few minutes now for this to complete. And while it's happening, let's just head over to EC2. And we should be able to see our resources running. Now the top two here are actually things that I've just got running from uh, some, some other work that I'm doing. But this bottom one here that's initializing, this is the one that's being created now. So we've got the IP address, it's being initialized. We should be able to copy that and secure shell into this instance. So I'm on a command line and I just want to secure shell into this instance. And there we go, we can go in and change the root if we want to. Just to show you that, you know, we've Cloud formation, you have full control. You know, these resources are yours. All, your, all that's happening is you're defining the resources that you want to create, but you take full control of those resources. So the other thing we should be able to do now, let's see if this instance is, is ready. So I put in the IP address and there's a Linux test page coming up. So we know that Apache is installed and we should be able to access WordPress by going to slash WordPress. And we get this error, it says that PHP is the wrong version. So for some reason, the template is not updated. So it doesn't install a version of PHP, which we need for WordPress. Now, what we could do is we could just use the command line. We could uninstall PHP and we could update it to the latest version. And, you know, that would fix our problem. We get WordPress working. But what I want to show you is how you do that through CloudFormation. So what we can do for now is we don't need this now. Let's just kill off this stack. So we just delete. And I'm gonna go back to stacks, create stack. And I wanna find this template. And I'm gonna visualize it in the designer. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna search for PHP. And I know that I can change these values. So I'm just gonna change this to PHP 7.0. I'm gonna change PHP-MySQL to PHP 7.0 dash MySQL and then ND on the end. And I also need to change HTTPD to HTTPD 24. So there's a couple of changes that I need to make and everything else stays the same. And what I can do now is I can actually save this file. Now I can save it into an S3 bucket or I can save it locally. So I'm just gonna save this locally as simple WP and click on save. So we have our template file saved. I can now choose create stack and this time I can choose template is ready and then upload a file and I'm going to choose this simple WP file here and it does a quick check on it and then we can click next. So what I'm going to do now is just call this simple WP dash PHP 7 just so I can remember that this is the one that's been changed and I'm gonna copy and paste that password again and change my instance to T2 micro, select my key pair and then click next. And that's it, let's click next again and then create stack. So it's been a few minutes and it looks like our crate is complete and I just wanted to show you the outputs. So in this case, we have an output and it's actually given us the public DNS to our website. So if I click on that link, this time we've resolved the PHP problem. So really I just did that to show you how you can then go into the code and make some changes. And then obviously that's had an outcome of you know fixing the application in this instance. So that's a really simple introduction to cloud formation. And what we're gonna do in the next lab is actually go into using that complex or highly available scalable WordPress installation using the template that's available. And we're also gonna make a few modifications, look at change sets and updates. 
So what we can do now is we want to just delete this stack. So again, we just go in and click delete and it will clean up all the resources for us.